In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DevOps GPT on your local system. I'll be using Amazon Linux 2023 for this purpose, but you can install it on your Windows Server or on any flavor of Linux. You can also try it out on Jupyter Notebook in Amazon SageMaker or on the Google Colab. It works fine there. Now, before I delve into its installation, let me give you a quick summary what exactly this DevOps GPT is. This is a, a multi-agent system for AI-driven software development. You combine large language models such as ChatGPT with DevOps tooling to convert natural language requirements into working software. Or in simple words, as this flow tells us, you just give us give this tool the requirement of your software in simple English, and then it takes it through the phases of software development, the whole agile thing, the CACD, and then it gives you a working software. Okay, now. As I said, I'll be using Amazon Linux 2023 for this purpose and I already have it installed. So let me show you. So this is my Linux environment. I'll be using Conda to install this uh, DevOps GPT because Conda makes it easy to keep all of our libraries at one place. If you don't know how to install Conda, all you need to do is to use these, these commands. First, wget to download Conda then check the checksum, then run bash script to install Conda, source it in your shell, and then Conda info to tell you what to verify if it is already installed. As I said, I already have installed Conda. If I do Conda info, this is going to tell me what exactly uh, Conda configuration I have. Okay, let me clear the screen. So I don't worry about copy pasting all the commands. I'll drop them in video description. Now, as a next step, what you need to do is to go to the GitHub repo of this uh, tool, scroll up, click on code, and then grab the URL of this repository because we are going to clone it. So let me go back to my terminal and clone this repository. Now, before I clone this, let me create a new Conda environment because that will help us in keeping uh, this installation clean and uh, without any issues. The way you create the new environment is like this. Conda, create dash n, and I will just give it the name DevOps, and I'm going to use Python 3.9. You can use any version higher than 3.7, but I have felt that this Python 3.9 is quite stable. You can either press enter or Y, And then all you need to do is to do this Honda activate, activate DevOps. And you can see in this braces that we are in the DevOps directory. Cool. Next step we need to do is to git clone the repo which we copied earlier. And press enter here. So it says it already exists. This is, this is my older one. Let me remove it so that we know we have a clean installation. So it has cloned it, which is great. Let me also check. Yes, now it's dd to this directory. Again, ls ltr. In this directory, first thing you need to do is to rename this environment file. So env dot yaml dot tpl move convert uh, rename it to env dot yaml and let me clear my screen to make it easier to read now just open this file this is the whole configuration file and there are a lot of things in it don't worry about most of the stuff there let me go up okay this here all you need to do in this file you need to change this uh, open ai key so let me remove this and if you don't have the key let me show you how you can obtain this key for free Go to platform.openai.com and I will drop the link in the description. Log in with your email, create a free account if you don't have it, and then go to API keys by clicking on your profile on top right. And this is your key. Just copy it, or if you don't have already have it, just create a new secret key, and that's the key we need. 
okay go back to our terminal and let me paste my key here okay sorry let me grab my key let me first play it and let me see where my key is i found the key let me paste it here this is the key i'm going to use and i will rotate it once i'm done so escape and then colon wq to save this file and you don't have to change anything else okay next step we need to do is which is the last step is to dot slash run dot yes this is going to install all the prerequisites which are needed and you will face some warnings so you can ignore them and it is installing all the requirements and stuff and it is going to start the backend server and also the front end server so let's wait for it to finish it has finished installing and it has started the backend and front end server okay next step we need to do uh, so that's it installation is done let's see if it is working or not let me um, go and try it out in the new browser window to see if it is up or not as you can see as soon as i have gone to this browser it has not only shown me on this here that i have accessed the interface plus also it has shown me this on the um, in my browser window when i access the local host on port 8080 now you can just write any prompt here write me a program to add two number and then just click on this button and okay so okay so network request exception because i have some uh, limitations on my browser but as you can see this is um working and one more thing i haven't uh, added here is my api key because my api has key has already expired so i might need to generate a new one but that is fine you got the idea how to install it use uh, make sure that these ports are open on your browser for me um, they are not so unfortunately so that is why maybe it is not um, generating it but all in all uh, these are the steps which you need to follow another thing which i have tried to do is to try it out with some um, in the configuration file the env file i have tried to convert it from chinese to english but it was giving me error so maybe if you um, have figured it out how to convert it to english that might be useful uh, if you do please drop them in the comment section um, and if you also find any workaround uh, around this network request exception uh, drop it in the video's description well that's it guys if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much